Twitch sound alert. I wasn't flexing. I was. You need them right now. Let's go get them, honey. So quickly in this video, I'm going to be going through sound alerts and just how to find them, how to make them, and also how to install them super quick and easy and obviously for free. No, I'm not prepared for anything nowadays. <laughs> Well, let's get cracking. First thing you gotta do is head on over to your Twitch profile. When you're here on your Twitch profile, let's go to the About section. Next thing, head on over to your Edit Panels. Once this is here, you're just gonna be scrolling down a bit until you find this plus icon. And then just go to the Extension Panels. And then go to Extension Manager. Yeah, it's gonna load up, but once it's loaded up, you're gonna go to Discovery. As you can see over here, I already have it installed as a panel, but Let's just pretend I don't have it. Let's just quickly friend zone this. And removal. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna head on over to your discovery and you're gonna search sound alerts and enter. I should have pressed enter. Once you're here, you should find this one. It should come up as the first one for you. So just click on install. Once it's there, I'm gonna click configure. I recommend you do too. So once it's here, this whole thingy thing, thing a ling ding is going to pop up on you. Go and here and say open new configuration dashboard. It's going to open up a new tab. You're going to log in with Twitch. I've already logged in, so it's going to auto log you in. And you're going to land on this page where I'm pretty much copying this exact video content creation for you. <laughs> Okay, head on over to library. Over here, it's gonna have a whole bunch that's gonna be here for you, so. And when you go here to library, I just wanna say, they have an amazing selection of sound alerts already ready for you. Yeah, ready, boo. Ready, steady. So all you gotta do is just go and look and see what they have before thinking to yourself, I wanna get my own custom sound alerts. I have jump scare installed, I have oof installed. And I have Ripperinos installed, but what if you wanted to install your own custom sounds? Okay. I got you. Head on over to this site. I'm going to link it in the description below for you guys. But it has like every single sound you can think of for free. And all you got to do is click download. It's glorious. Let me show you. It's called My Instance, but this site is so great. I'm like, how did I not know about it? But it has like all the glorious sound memes you can think of like this one. Oh, you playing Minecraft. I like it, cut G. <laughs> okay, it's got so many great ones. Just be aware, do not play stuff like this one. Your community might not like you. <laughs> they might not follow. And your mom might clap you. <laughs> she might give you a PK. If you don't know what a PK is, go search South African PK definition. You're welcome. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is find a few that you like. So obviously I like this one. But yeah, as a pro tip, before you download them, think to yourself, what kind of sound alerts do I want right now? Am I playing horror games that I need to focus on scary sound alerts? Or is it just in general like meme alerts? I'm in the meme alerts category. Cool. So I love this one because... <laughs> Run. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this and then literally straight up right over here it says download mp3 smash it bro as you can see it's like instantly downloading it's pretty amazing we're gonna head back over here to the sound alerts into our library and we're gonna go and click on the uploads once we're here we're gonna upload a new sound i'm gonna type all this run boy and i'm gonna label it as funny now all i'm gonna do is just choose where the file is so yeah i'm gonna add it Bamboozle, upload sound file, boom, and it's there. Then what you're gonna do here is you gotta add this to sounds and here you're gonna set as to how many channel points it's gonna cost or how many bits it's gonna cost. I like to set it to channel points, just, you know, you know, like I don't want, I want it to be free. I want my community to feel loved and appreciated and involved. And hey, just as a bit of a bonus to making a channel points, the more channel points used, the more likely your channel is going to be recommended by Twitch. If you don't believe me, go check out this video. It's how to get recommended on Twitch, how the algorithm works. Pretty cool. It's yeah, it's for you. Sticking to sound alerts. We're still here right now. This is what matters. Okay, so we're going to add this and I'm going to set this to, I don't like it to be too expensive. I'm going to make it 1000 because I want like, you know, people to be able to use the sound alerts. It's 
cool. So now you've got your sound alert selected that you want to use. You've set the channel points or bits or whatever it is. Your next step is to now import it into your Streamlabs OBS or if you have OBS, it's actually really easy. Or you can just drag and drop it into your sources with your stream with your OBS open. But if you're like me and you're using Streamlabs OBS, what you do is come over here back to dashboard and click on here like I use something else. It'll give you a custom URL for you to use. What you're then gonna do is you're gonna head on over to your Streamlabs OBS and then whatever scene it is, we're gonna import it. So I'll see you in Streamlabs OBS. So we're here in our Streamlabs OBS and just doing this quickly, we're gonna be adding a source into whatever scene it is. So we're just gonna click here on the plus icon for our source and go to browser source. Just tick over here, add new source instead and call it whatever you want. I mean, it's gonna be sound alerts and then just click add source. In over here, you're gonna paste your custom URL and also make sure to click on refresh when browser scene becomes active. Um, just sometimes it may freeze and then you're gonna click done. And then it's gonna show up in your source browser so make sure you have it centered because it is gonna pop up on your screen as an alert and it's pretty cool. Also, make sure it's in the top layer so that you know it's not hidden behind your camera or it's not hidden behind the gameplay source. So yeah, just a bit of a pro tip for you there. Okay, so now that we set it up, the next thing we need to do is activate it as a panel. So let's go back to our Twitch page. So we're going back to our about section. We're gonna go back to the, our edit panels and we're gonna to go to our extension manager, which is up at the top over here. So once I've clicked on that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see here, we're gonna click here and we're gonna see it as panel one. If you see it as a component, it should be as like a kind of like an overlay that's always on top of the stream. But I like to have it as a, as a bit of a, like an overlay, yeah. But I like to set it as a panel instead of a component. And then yeah, just make sure you set a panel one or whatever one. That way when they come down into your stream, they can actually see uh, what's available for them to play around with. And as we can see here, it is showing up here and your custom sound alert should be showing up within here. So yeah, that's it. So firstly, if you have any questions or if I miss anything, let me know in the comments below. I'll be as quick as I can to answer them. But as I said before, Twitch has an algorithm that recommends channels. And if you want to start standing out and get your channel recommended, I highly recommend you go and check out that video, which is going to give you a very brief explanation to how to actually get recommended on Twitch. So I'll see you guys there. I love you guys. Have a great week, weekend, day, morning, evening, sun. And just know, I believe in you. You're going to succeed. Peace. Peace.